Okay, see how you did on the Sue problem? Sue was charged $3 to connect to a psychic phone line. She is also charged an additional $1 per minute. Okay, so when you fill out the data table, at zero minutes, she's already charged three, uh, $3. Okay, right away, she is charged $3. And then from then on, she's charged an extra dollar. So after a minute goes by, she's charged four. After a second minute goes by, her total charge is five. Okay, a third minute goes by, add a dollar to five, you get six. And after four minutes goes by, she's charged a total of seven. Okay, so there's my data table. Okay, if I want to know my y-intercept and slope, okay, the y-intercept is the number across from zero. It's way too thick. Okay, the y-intercept is the number across from x equals zero, which would be three. Okay, the slope is your change in y over your change in x. Okay, your change in y, your y values are going up a dollar. Your x values are going up a minute. So your change in y would be increasing a dollar the change in X would be increasing by one minute. And if you divide one by one, you get one. So it's a dollar per minute. Okay, so your Y intercept is the number across from the zero, which is three. And your slope would have been your change in Y values, which is an increase of $1 over your change in x values, which is an increase of one minute. And then that would be equal to a dollar per minute. Okay, look into the same information on the graph. Okay, at zero minutes, you're charged three dollars. So you're going to put a point at zero comma three. Okay, after one minute, it's four dollars. So after two minutes, your total is five dollars. Okay, after three minutes, your total is six. After four, your total is seven. And after five, your total is eight. Okay, so there's the points. You could click the select line feature and draw your line. Okay, so there's my line graph with the same information. Okay, to find the slope and the y-intercept of a graph. Okay, the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay, that's the y-axis. And that's happening at three. Okay, so your y-intercept is three. Okay, your slope is your rise over your run. Pick any two points you want. I'm just going to go from this point to this point. Okay, my rise is up one dollar. My run is over one minute. So my rise over my run, I'm just sticking labels with my uh, numbers. My rise is $1. My run is one minute. So my slope is a dollar per minute. So when you fill this in on the slides, your y-intercept is your three, your slope, you're rising one dollar. You're running one minute. So your slope is a dollar per minute.
Okay, so now on the bottom, I have some general questions about uh, the information, and you're looking at the same information. You're looking at the information in a sentence, you're looking at the information in a data table, and you're looking at the information in a graph, but you're still looking at uh, two really big ideas. The first big idea, the initial charge, is the three. It's the three dollars that she start that she was charged at the very beginning. So you can find that across from the y across from zero on the data table. You can find where it crosses the y axis, and you can look at the sentence. She's charged three dollars right away. Okay, how is her charge increasing? Okay, that's the slope. Okay, you see the slope in the sentence. See, she's charged an additional dollar a minute. You see the slope at the data table going up a dollar up a minute. You see the slope in the graph rise over run, but it's still a dollar per minute. Okay, your equation then, y equals the number in front of your x is your slope, the dollar per minute. Okay, that one goes in front of your slope. I'm sorry, that one goes in front of your x. And then at the end, you have your y-intercept of a positive $3. Of course, I could take that one out if I wanted to. Okay, y equals 1x plus 3. I'm just going to take the one out. y equals x plus 3. Okay, the last question, how much would it cost for Sue to talk two hours? More than one way you could do this, but X, if I just look at the equation, X stands for minutes. Okay, Y stands for the cost, the total cost, and they're giving you, and they're asking you, what is the cost after two hours? Well, first of all, you need to think about minutes. Two hours, okay, 60 minutes each would be 120 minutes. So you could take your equation, y equals x plus 3, and you could replace the x with the number of minutes that they gave you, which is 120. Okay, you could put everything else back into your equation. And you would have y, the cost, y, is equal to 120 plus 3. Okay, well, that's $123 the Sioux would be charged after two hours. Okay, just do your best. Let me know. Uh, if you're having trouble with this, just let me know, and I'll help you.